All right, now I'm going to talk about a very old stallion from Silicon Valley. You got it. That's AMD. So let's take a look at what's, happen what's been happening, what you should expect, because there's a bullish trend in place and you want to be a buyer. As usual, I want, uh, want you to remember that the only indicator that matters, it's volume. It leads the way. That's why at the Haw at Hawkeyes, we use volume as our primary primary analysis. And if you want to make a business out of stock trading, currency trading, futures trading, then you absolutely need to use the tools. Remember, you can always come to our site and download our e well our PDF e PDF a volume price analysis where you will learn the basis in how you can use our tools to improve your bottom line results, all right? So let's jump directly. Let's go to Trading View. And remember, we also have our uh, tools available for Ninja Trader and Trade Station. Now, let's take a look at what's been happening on the daily chart of the last couple of weeks with AMD, AMD Advanced Micro Devices. Now, if you take a look, pay attention. Every time that we have this red area, how do I know that? Well, because it's visual, and I do that when I use Hawkeye Trends Plus stops. It guides my way, so I jump out of the stock, if that's the case, and I, I avoid a 37% pullback. Now, it works when, if you're long-term, if you actually have AMD on, on your IRA Roth, or you have it on your 401k, or you have it on your personal um, retirement account, that's great. But short-term moves can always lead to potential uh, potential profits that you can maximize. And if you have Hawkeye Trends Plus stops, you can avoid short-term uh, stomach pain. That's what it is. The first case, it comes from February of 2020. Of course, this is COVID-19 hitting the economy, hitting everyone. So that hit translates to a 40% uh, pullback. That can be considered deep pullback into AMD. Now, uh, after we have the recovery, remember the the... Uh, I think it's the shortest recession is the COVID-19 because it was end by summer 2020. Then you have another pullback. It takes about uh, August, the end of August, all the way to November. So that's August, September, October, November, about four months. And that's a minus 22% pullback. And then you have the reversal. Then again, let's not miss this one out. You have another 23% pullback this time from January, second week of January, all the way to March. So that's January, March, uh, February, March. So you can see about two months and then you have another pullback. Then look at this. You have another pullback that's close to 20%. That's 19%. That's pretty close. And the next one, it's from this point on August of this year, 2021, all the way to this bottom around $97 in the mid of October, another 20% pullback. What's the story? Every 20% pullback, what are you going to do? Yes, you're going to be a buyer. You want to buy. That's what you want to do. You want to buy the stock. But at the same time, you, that's your opportunity to buy a call option and maximize what happens after the pullback. Let's take a look at that. Because every time you have a pullback of this magnitude, then suddenly you have a 61% push higher that's the the leg the bullish leg the last time was 61 72 this one was about 30 percent the next one we have it to this point it's not that big but it's 20 percent the next one look at it it's about 20 no 30 percent and from this one we have a huge 66 percent bullish leg and i want to ask you where were you did you have the tools to actually take advantage of these, these different opportunities? Oh, you did not. Well, it's time for you. Remember, any given time, please visit us at HawkeyeTraders.com because you definitely need the tools. Now, I'm sharing this with you. It's a little bit of a training and video promotional. I'm not going to lie. We want you to use our tools. If you have a product that makes sense, uh, yes, I need to promote it. Look at Elon Musk. How many companies have... BEV, yeah, battery electric vehicles. Many. There are many in the market, including Ford and GM. They're trying. Even BMW. They're also trying. So 
you do need to put your product out there. I have something that works, so I want you to know the beauty and how the Hawkeye tools are going to improve your training because you want to improve your bottom line results. And you're going to be only a product of the tools you use. Remember, we're in the age of the ultra digitalization, so you do need these tools, all right? Don't forget it. Stop by HawkeyeTraders.com and take a look at our offering. Now, if this is the case, what should you be doing right now? Well, guess what? You should be buying the stock. Yeah, buying the stock. And let me share with you what's happening. Now, yes, we have dark red. That means that at some point this is going to turn green because it's sending us a message. The bearish trend is fading. So let's jump to the weekly. And in the weekly, we see a different story. But not only that heat map is green, which favors starting buying positions. Also, if you look at the monthly, absolutely, it looks like this can pull a red to green. And today is only December 8th. So remember, we still have another 22 days to perform a full reversal. This is the perfect opportunity on a pullback, a pullback that we measured. You and me, you, you, and you two all together. We know exactly how for the last two years AMD has been performing. Now remember, I'm calling it the old Stalin because this company was founded in 1969. If you look at NVIDIA, it's a much younger horse. But still, I think we can squeeze a little bit more energy from this one. There are a few more races that AMD can win for all of us in our portfolios. It can be in our uh, day trading account or in our retirement account. So I totally think that you should be looking to at you know, praise, uh, pay some serious attention to AMD. I don't think this old styling is out of business. Not yet. It has a lot more to do, and I am showing to you today. Now, I want to go back on, on the daily, because on the daily, this is where you can see something that matters to me. When you're looking at Hawkeye Trends plus stops, you have the first line, second, and the third shaded area. This is the last thing, because it's on day, if on daily this thing breaks down, it's actually we have a close and open under the $138 per share level then it turns bearish, really bearish. This is not the case, and this is a buying opportunity. As usual, I'm not going to tell you stuff. I'm here to guide you. Yeah, and that means that I have to talk about risk because we're trading, we're investing, this is a business, and you have to be an adult. You have to be a grown-up about the business, right? So judging what we have so far, I will say let's go with a 10% risk, and the very first trade, if you've been paying attention to my previous videos, I talk about what is obvious. We're looking to close the cycle. We want to peak. Remember, peak all that liquidity at the top. That means that we have probably close to 14% return. This is a very short-term trade. If you use margin, please remember to understand your risk profile before you do that. But we also have an opportunity. And if this thing's going up for another 14% back to what we know, then what are we going to do? We are going to go for a call option. That's right. So let's go to quote media and see what we have available. Um, I go to option chain. As usual, we're going to play the end of the year. That will be December 31st. We need to double check if AMD offers that opportunity. It does. So I'm just going to scroll down, open all strikes, and see where is the action taking place. Remember, a very high open interest does not lead to think that there is an SDF, statistical disruptive flow, not at all, but it guides you to see what's happening. Where is it? Where are traders and investors playing the game? All right, think about that. So you scroll down. Um, there's some action, there's some volume. Ooh, baby, right there. Boom, 160. Uh, open interest so far, 4,600 contracts. Yesterday, because today is December 8th, it's 2,397 in volume. Now, I usually tend to go for contracts that the premium is under a dollar, but this is AMD. It's a, a, a three-digit company, so it's worth it to pay attention to. So I'm going to pick the 160 call, December 31st. A uh, couple things to note. The contract high was 1250. Contract low was 120. We're buying 100% from the low. That's okay. Delta is pretty, pretty robust. That's uh, 24, 24%. And the gamma, it's, it's right. 0 0.0165, remember, gamma is the speed how the delta will change for every dollar that the stock goes up, all right? It's very important. So if this is the game, this is what I want to play. But today, I also want to share something with you so you can put a little bit more money into the future. And why? 
I totally think you need to jump on this stock today. Now, remember, the way it works with, mar uh, with uh, uh, market makers is that they open contracts based on the appetite for risk, how traders, investors are, uh, are looking at AMD. So this is the last contract, and this is for September 16 of 2022. If this contract is open, it's because someone knows and someone is betting on it. And it'd be a surprise that at 255 for that time, we're talking, you know, it's, it has a lot of time. There is there is 1,653 contracts in the open interest. So someone knows. Now, the contract high is 555. If I were to apply technical analysis to this contract, this options contract, I will say that we can actually have a price rotation from 555. And this contract, if everything goes well, we can be selling it at $10. Please, I beg you, pay no more than $3 for the contract. And just being conservative, our target is $10 to the upside on the contract. Remember, we have plenty of time. But on the first batch, the first push higher, this will be my target. All right? Now, when I look at the other contract for the next two weeks, actually three weeks, uh, the contract high is 1250. I will be ambitious and I will be looking for the contract high. I will be looking to buy, remember, same case, pay no more than 280, I will say, 280 on this contract. And I'm looking to sell at 1250. I'm looking to sell the high. This is my target. And I want to be ambitious. We have three weeks to make it happen. Look at Apple. Look at what the Qs are doing, QQQ, which is the Invesco ETF that replicates the NASDAQ. And that will be some of the clues we need to be positioned in this particular stock, all right? So I want, to be, I want to be ambitious and bullish AMD. I think you should be doing the same. These are the trades I want to take. And how do I get this? Because I'm smart. It has nothing to do with being smart. It's, it has everything to do with having, you need to have the tools to get there. We experienced so far this pullback. It's pretty, pretty similar to previous levels uh, of pullbacks that we had before. And AMD, based on the pattern over the last two years, has shown us uh, that every time it pulls 20%, we have an opportunity to make 30%. So this right there is conservative. Everyone, get ready. There's going to be a price rotation. And remember, if we have a price rotation, all I can say is I will see the stock in the next six months doing this. You take that, you have a 22% upside opportunity, and you're a little bit ambitious. You do the projection, and that 22% will take you to at least... $200. Remember, this old stallion still has one more race to win. That's AMD.